John Puss right. Look who was just busted for starting deadly Cali fire that killed 41 so far, here's why. The California wildfires have been raging for quite some time which has caused unprecedented damage in the region. Now, it is important to note that fires in the Californian area are not unheard of, but they typically occur in December and January, and not October. These fires have forced thousands of residents to leave their homes in terror not knowing what they will return to when they are able. Law enforcement officials have been working tirelessly to figure out who started these horrific wildfires and it appears they may have the culprits that prove President Trump was right yet again. On Monday, firefighters have been able to gain control of the raging wildfires in the Northern Californian area. However, even though these brave firefighters have been able to make headway in containing the fire the death toll has risen to 41. Over the last week, these raging fires have scorched more than 200,000 acres, destroyed or damaged more than 5,500 homes, and displaced 100,000 people. Though by some miracle on Sunday, the winds changed and the firefighters were able to take advantage of that situation and contain some of the fires. Now that the firefighters have been able to make some headway in these deadly fires, law enforcement has been focusing on what caused them, and what they found is shocking. As officials were studying the fires, they noticed a pattern of where the majority of them occurred. It seems that areas hardest hit by these fires were in areas within the legal marijuana business, and they are now suspecting foul play. As it turns out the areas that are being hit the hardest happens to be pot farms. CNN Money reported. Deadly wildfires in Northern California are burning up marijuana farms in the so-called Emerald Triangle. Blazes have destroyed a number of farms in Mendocino County right before illegal recreational sales begin in California. Cannabis business owners who lose their crops have little reprieve. Nobody right now has insurance, said Nikki Lastardo, secretary of the Mendocino Cannabis Industry Association. They might have insurance on their house, but not on their crop. Here is more from Got News. The suspicious timing and sheer destruction of the fires have led them to believe the Mexican drug cartels, infamous for their ruthless tactics, had a hand in starting them. These cartels, which run a large share of the world's multi-billion dollar illegal drug trade, certainly have the means to pull off an attack like this. They also have an enormous incentive to drive up prices and hurt their competitors, and these fires are already accomplishing that. If Mexican drug lord involvement is confirmed, it will likely spark an international crisis between the United States and Mexico over the latter's failure to rein in its criminal cartels. Facebook photos provided to GOT News show the wildfires have caused staggering damage, with several before and after pictures revealing the extent of the devastation. The New York Times reported yesterday that tens of thousands of marijuana growers live in this area the vast majority of whom have no insurance. Furthermore, since marijuana remains an illegal drug under the Controlled Substances Act, the industry still uses cash. Got News can confirm that millions of dollars in cash has already been lost to the fires, in addition to tens of millions more in property damage. According to NBC News, thousands of acres of marijuana have already been burned and the fires have also wiped out recent investments in infrastructure to comply with licensing regulations in preparation for recreational marijuana legalization next year. The total damage caused by these fires will be unclear for a while, as many of them are still burning. So, what does this all mean and how does this prove that President Trump was right? As stated previously law enforcement officials are suspecting that Mexican cartels started these devastating fires. The cartel does not like competition especially when it comes to making drug money and if California is now legalizing marijuana you can bet that the drug lords are not happy. These ruthless individuals will continue on their path of destruction unless there is something to stop them. What that something is would be a wall between the Mexican border and the United States to prevent these people from entering our country. There is no reason that these criminals should be allowed to sneak into America and create havoc on innocent people. These fires appear to be a message sent from the cartels to scare the legal marijuana farmers from continuing to grow their crop. Now, 
Whether you agree with marijuana or not is not the issue considering that these farmers have the right to grow it, and no illegals should be able to prevent it from happening, happening.